Welcome, welcome. I am so excited to be here to share with you a new system for supporting your metabolic health. Metabolic health is one of the crucial ways that we can age gracefully. It's one of the ways that we can look and feel better, younger from the inside out. And I'm going to talk a little bit with you today about different systems that can support how we optimize our metabolic function. So if you want to take notes, please feel free to take notes. If you want to listen to this multiple times to really understand it, or if you want to just, you know, let it kind of wash over you, all good, all different ways of learning and all very powerful ways of learning. What I would ask you to do as you're listening is to listen with an ear for how this is relevant to you, your health and your lifestyle choices today, and how that is going to impact who you are in 10 years, 20 years and beyond. Good. So good metabolic health. What constitutes good metabolic health is one of the things that we'll look at. We'll secondly also look at what is the difference between lifespan and health span and why we want to really focus on health span. Lifespan's nice, but we really want to focus on health span. We'll also look at what is what causes um, poor metabolic health or the obstacles, if you like, to metabolic health. And then I will share some solutions that we have to support improving your metabolic health and the system to take it, like the simple system that you can use to integrate it daily into your life. So good metabolic health is the way that we digest our food and how we avoid big fluctuations in insulin. Big fluctuations in insulin and how we digest our food can contribute to unwanted health outcomes. Now we have very uh, a numerous number of different metabolic pathways and our metabolism is influencing our energy levels, our weight, it's influencing our body composition and even how we focus our, our cognitive performance if you like. And what many of us don't know is that our metabolic function is affected by aging. Of course, maybe that's obvious, everything is affected by aging. But what we can know is that optimal metabolic function can actually support us to age in a healthy way. So the more healthy our metabolism, metabolism is, the healthier our aging process will be. Now there's not one product for sure that is gonna replace um, your lifestyle choices. So again, think about how this relates to you. Your lifestyle choices are the kinds of foods that you eat, the water that you're drinking, the way that you're managing and uh, reducing as where you can stress, that you are moving your body in some way, however that may be for you, walking, uh, exercise classes, yoga, whatever it might be, gardening that you like to do to move your body. Um, this is really interesting that the, the lifestyles that one of the main lifestyle choices that really influences our health is um, the connections that we have. So the relationships that we have, the loving, mean, meaningful, um, deep relationships that we can have. So we all know what it's like to feel lonely and to feel um, unseen. And we also all know what it's like to be in the presence of somebody who is really seeing us, who is really hearing us and the, the joy and the, the connection that that can bring. And that's really one of the, the key components to living a healthy life. Good. Also in that, um, that, that key kind of system of healthy lifestyle choices is taking smart supplementation. One of the really, really important things is to supplement your diet with whatever um, foods you're eating with really, really smart supplementation. Other factors that support our metabolic health um, or that contribute to, to a decline, I should say, in a metabolic health are having lots of mood shifts, <laughs> having lots of glucose spikes, these kinds of things can really influence um, and degenerate, if you like, the way that we're functioning within our metabol in metabolically. So we also want to think about introducing what we call adverse mimetics. And again, think about this. Maybe it's things that you've heard of. Maybe it's things that you already do in your own life. Adverse mimetics is simply a process where we intentionally introduce to the body stressors that mimic hardship. And they do this in order to lower our chronic cortisol levels that many of us experience that make us tired and unhealthy. So what would an adverse mimetic be? It would be something that maybe you don't want to do. 
<laughs> like go for a cold plunge. Initially, you won't want to do that. You won't want to get in that cold water, but you will feel so great afterwards. It will be things like um, weight training. It will be things like bursts of energy expenditure, you know, so some kind of like cardio work. It will be things like intermittent fasting, things like sweating in a sauna. These are all taking ourselves, our body into areas where there is physical discomfort, resistance, if you like, but what it does do for your body is it keeps it guessing and it gives it what we what we call the adversity to stay young. Very interesting. So our metabolism is basically the process that our body uses to convert what we are eating and what we are drinking into energy. Interestingly, in Europe, only 20 percent of adults are metabolically healthy and metabolic health and biological age are connected. Biological age is different to numerical age. So biologic, biological age is um, like, you know, what, how you look and also how your body is performing internally. So I guess like me, you all know those people who are, um, you know, look younger than their numerical age. And you also know those people who look older than their numerical age. And sometimes, although of course not always, that is reflected internally. So what's going on inside? Um, good. Now in Europe, 53% are categorized as overweight and 17% as obese. Now, interestingly, the obesity level drops, the higher the education. So the more we can understand this uh, and teach it as well, teach what we understand to others, the, the more education is gonna be out there and the more we can reduce those obesity levels. One of the reasons that we have these levels of obesity and overweight um, um, and people, we, we, we see these levels of, of people being overweight and obesity is because we have this availability of processed and unhealthy foods, which the body, it, the body has, has difficulty processing. Good. In a study in the Journal of American Cardiology in July 2022, for those of you that like your references, 6.8 of Americans, only 6.8, I should say, have optimal cardio health. So if you were to take a room of 100 Americans, only six to seven percent of them would have optimal cardio health. So it's a very small percentage. Now, while we may not be quite at that crisis point, uh, we are definitely very close because we have many of the similar lifestyle choices that they have in America. And when they were doing this study, it was done uh, with uh, 55,000 people. And it was looking at different regulators or different markers, if you like. It was looking at blood pressure. It was looking at blood sugar regulation, overweight and obesity levels, and also the presence of cardiovascular disease. So this is all around our metabolic health. So just consider how this is for you, what this um, information is, 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 is how it's relevant to you in your life. I want to talk for a moment about a molecule that is critical, critical for our metabolic function, and that is NAD, a molecule called NAD. Sometimes also you'll hear it referred to as NAD plus, and it's just the difference between the oxygen and the hydrogen molecule, whether it has the plus or the not. So NAD is a molecule critical to our metabolic function and to our DNA integrity. We have it in abundance up to the age of 25, <laughs> and then it starts to decline so that by the age of 50, it is actually half that um, level that it was at 25. So I'll talk more about NAD and why that's important in, in a moment, but for now, just, just know that that's something just to remember that it's crucial for our metabolic and our DNA integrity, metabolic health and our DNA integrity. So let's talk for a moment about health span and lifespan and what those two terms mean. So health span is basically how healthy we are through our life, how, how vital we are, how much energy we have, how we're living our life. And lifespan, of course, is how long we live. So I don't know about you, but my experience is that many of us are living much longer. I think the... Um, I think it's thought that anyone, I, I think this is a st statistic, I'm remembering it. I think it's that any child born after 2006, I want to say, um, will live until well into their, like into the, the hundreds, or will, they're predicted to live into the hundreds. At the moment, for, for the, most of us that are over 30 or 40, our life's prediction is like 83, something like that. 
Now, what we do know is that the the age the the older you are, the 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 kind of that the the eight to fifteen, the last eight to fifteen years of your life, these are when we see most obviously we see most health challenges, and the health span can be extremely um, diminished. So it can be that we have a uh, we have a long life, but that quality at the end of our life can be very very compromised. So we have this inseparability between metabolic health and biological health. The stronger and healthier our metabolic function is, the better we'll feel inside from the out. So while the lifespan might well be increasing, we want to consider how many of those extra years, that eight to 15 years at the end, are spent feeling really truly healthy and with the fullest vitality and the fullest wellness. You know, you may well have your own experience of for yourself or for older relatives that you're caring for, that they really are having a lot of um, compromises in their health and the choices that they can make just with their life, simply around fatigue issues, around energy levels, um, around all sorts of other things. So just consider that as well and how that, how do you wanna live the last eight to 15 years of your life? How do you want to experience life now? Again, considering how this is in relationship to you. So the obstacles that we have to a good metabolic health are maturing fat cells, variations in blood sugar, those peaks and those troughs that I was talking about, um, cellular integrity and inferior supplementation. Those are the four main obstacles that we would see to good metabolic health. So let's look at those four obstacles in a little bit more detail. So first of all, we have maturing fat cells. So we all have the same number roughly of fat cells at the beginning of our life as we do at the end of our life. Some of them do die off. We have, we all have the stem cells which become fat cells. And it's actually the environment which those stem cells are in, which determines which type of cell it's going to become. So it's actually determining the media with which that stem cell is in is determining whether that's going to become a fat cell. So we have done studies, or doTERRA, the company that I work with in relationship to this, have done studies around measuring the accumulation of fat in the cells and how the essential oils can influence that. Now, we used to have a blend called Smart and Sassy, which was sort of addressing this issue. It was addressing other issues as well, blood sugar, cra um, sugar cravings. And what the company that I work with doTERRA, what doTERRA have done is that they have created a system of testing the ratios within the, the essential oil blend that best support this um, maturation of cells. So the tests measured the accumulation of fat in the cells and found that different ratios of the essential oils radically reduced the conversion of fat cell to stem cell. So the oils in that blend, and the blend is now called MetaPower. It's now called the MetaPower blend, and it has exactly the same oils as the Smart and Sassy blend or the Slim and Sassy blend, but it's just in differing ratios. And what the studies have shown is that that radically reduces the conversion of stem cell to flat fat cell, remembering that maturing fat cells is one of the obstacles to good metabolic health. With me? So we have, um, in this blend, we have cinnamon, we have ginger, we have lemon, and we have grapefruit, we have peppermint. So we have the cinnamaldehyde in cinnamon and that influences the blood sugar. We have ginger, alpha zingaburine is the compound in ginger and we have that at 30%. We have menthol and menthol and 1,8-cineal in peppermint. And menthol is stimulating receptors to cool and also supports the GABA receptors. We have lemon and we have grapefruit. Limonene is 70% present in lemon and 90% present in grapefruit. And limonene is especially cleansing in the liver when it is metabolized. So this MetaPower blend is in every single um, component of the MetaPower system. And it's one of the starting points, if you like, for good metabolic health. Very easy way to integrate. So essential oils are supporting cellular communication, chemical communication in your body. If the cells cannot communicate effectively with each other, then they don't know what to do and they start to break down with their function. Their function starts to break down, they start to fail and that leads to disease. Now all essential oils, especially when you're working with a company like doTERRA who are 
of uh, using only oils of the highest quality. So we could actually say essential oils, because this is the only company that's done the studies, essential oils of the highest quality, elicit pathways to help your cells communicate so that the proper cascade of chemicals can be initiated and we stay well. So MetaPower as a blend is available in a 15 mil. It's also available in the beadlets and it's also available in simple capsules like little soft gels. So I'm gonna talk about how we would take those in a moment, so stay with me. The second obstacle to good metabolic health are the variations in your blood sugar. And this is addressed by a product that we have called Meta Power Assist. So what happens is we eat something, the enzymes that we have convert the carbohydrates to glucose, the glucose rises, and then the pancreas pumps out insulin and then the glucose falls. So we have these sugar spikes when we're eating foods, especially um, sugar, sugar heavy foods or carbohydrates, and they create a big impact on our energy levels. The MetaPower Assist, this little capsule in here, works to slow down the process of converting that energy, the food, into glucose. So we're slowing down the conversion process with this little capsule. It's all um, natural products in there. It has in their berberine, it has in their um, uh, mulberry leaf extract. And what this does is creates a smoothing out of those curves, those, those um, sugar spikes to take them within the normal range around, especially around meal times. So blood sugar levels are one of the most significant markers of your health. These levels are naturally going up and naturally going down, fluctuating depending on the food that you eat, depending on the activity that you are doing, how physically, um, how much you're moving your body. And then over time, we have these elevated blood sugar levels that can actually have adverse consequences um, on our body. So think of it like one good analogy that I've heard is if you think of it like a car, like say you have a really fancy car, you really want to take care of that car. And if you're constantly like slamming the brakes on that car and then on the gas so gas and then brakes, gas and then brakes, gas and then brakes, it's going to be um, it's going to kind of start to, to 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 harm the car. It's going to start to degrade how the car performs how it functions and actually it'll end up costing you more in in how that car um you know in repairs and all those kinds of things also the car will lose value more quickly so think of your body like that think of, of yourself like a really fancy car that you really really want to take care of and this little assist capsule is going to help resist help help with those spikes with those brakes and those accelerator um, pedals so in the MetaPower in the MetaPower Assist capsule, we have mulberry leaf extract and berberine, and these have both been shown, both naturally occurring um, plant-based products that have been shown to uh, reduce the normal um, range post meal of blood sugar strike spikes by forty-two percent. So when you take this capsule with your meal, preferably about half an hour before your meal, it assists the body to metabolize what you have eaten more slowly so the body is metabolizing the food more slowly which eases out the spike and enhances our own longevity so this helps with that challenge in two ways so it decreases the first way is it that it decreases the absorption of carbohydrate into the bloodstream and then the second way is that it increases the cellular sensitivity to insulin Berberine itself has a 2000 year history of supporting health. And just to to know that these are these are, are naturally occurring plants that, um, you know, that we've been using for many years. And this has just been formulated in a specific system for us to use. Good. The third obstacle to good metabolic health is cellular integrity. And so with that, we are looking at uh, this little sachet which is a collagen product but it's much more than just a collagen product there are 12 ingredients in here to address biological aging for some people this becomes their favorite non-negotiable daily product that's how it is for me for sure now one of the ingredients which contributes, remember I was talking about NAD, that powerful um, molecule that is one of the life-giving molecules that we that we all have, that we have at um, in abundance up to the age of 25. By the time we're 50, it's halved. 
So one ingredient, NMN, also known as nicotinamide monocleotide, contributes to the production of NAD. So NMN creates NAD. By our middle age, as I said, our NAD levels have plummeted and numerous studies are showing that boosting NAD levels increases insulin sensitivity and reverses mitochondrial dysfunction. Mitochondrial, remember, is right at the center of your cell and is really what's supporting your energy levels. NAD plus or NAD can be increased by activating enzymes that stimulate synthesis of NAD by inhibiting a specific enzyme that degrades that NAD. And then also by supplementing the NAD precursors, including nicotinamide riboside, NR, and NMN, nicotinamide monocleotide. So when we take NMN orally, it is rapidly absorbed into our body and converted to NAD. There are studies that show that NMN has increased NAD biosynthesis, suppressed age-related ADAP, excuse me, suppressed age-related adipose tissue inflammation, enhanced insulin secretion and insulin action, improved mitochondrial function, and improved neuronal function in the brain, focus, concentration, and much more. So it's very, uh, it's a very powerful system designed to transport function and, and, has, and has the ability to introduce biosynthesis of NAD+. Some studies say that some supplementing NMN may be an effective nutraceutical anti-aging inter intervention with beneficial effects on a wide array of physiological functions. So fundamentally, that's all good, but all you really need to know is that it is reducing oxidative stress and it is stimulating the expression of anti-aging genes. So also NMN, um, inside this sachet we have NMN, reducing oxidative stress, stimulating the expression of anti-aging genes, and also we have in here collagen. So collagen is really having its kind of moment in the spotlight right now it's very popular lots of people talking about it as a beauty product to help with skin um people talking about it you know you'll see lots of athletes talking about it or people who are really connected and concerned about their health talking about it what we do know is that when we're using or taking a collagen supplement, we want to make sure firstly that it's got a broad range of collagen in there and secondly that it's going to be absorbed by the body. So collagen, the most important protein in our body, makes up about 6% of our body weight. And in our own body, we have 28 types of different collagen, and each one is categorized by its amino acid composition. So the MetaPower Advantage, this little system, this little um, sachet, contains nine types of collagen, and each one is speaking to a different function within the body. So we have type 1 related to skin and beauty. We have type two found in our cartilage. We have in here type four found in the basement membrane, which is basically the thin sheets of collagen that surround our tissue, most types of our tissue. We have type five, which is found in the hair and also in the surfaces of our cells. We have type six, which maintains our mechanical function in our cell, supports our muscle function and supports our cell membrane integrity. Additionally, this collagen inhibits oxidative damage and apoptosis. Type nine, uh, an important component of cartilage and type 15 inhibits the fibrillation of amyloid beta peptide distributed in the cartilage cells of growth plates, joints, and invertebral discs. So we see the very uh, many different benefits of the different ranges of collagens. And we want to be introducing as many of those as we can into our body to support ourselves. And we also want to make sure that those different types of collagen are able to be absorbed well into our body. And this is where this Advantage product is very different to other collagens that you'll see on the market, not only within the range of collagens, but also within the absorbability. And this is due to its tripeptide formula. So our collagen is sourced from sustainably harvested cold water marine fish, and it has been hydrolyzed. And what this means, it has been cut into different specific tripeptide fragments, and these tripeptide fragments create optimal absorption.
So you'll see other collagens in the market, whether they are from land animals or whether they are marine sources. And typically they will contain this tripeptide content of around 50 to 35%. Now our MetaPower Advantage has more than 70% tripeptide fragments. So you can see how that is going to um, really support optimum absorption. In some cases, it will make it 12 times more absorbable. So for example, we would have three grams of collagen, but we're absorbing 12 times more. So we're actually taking into our body 36 grams of collagen. Sometimes on the market, you'll see 15, you may even see 20 grams of collagen, but that might not even be absorbable. So it's really a very, very unique and well-crafted and uh, scientifically tested product that we have here. It's basically helping us to look younger and to act the cells to act younger, supporting lean muscle, connective tissue, cognitive function, improving skin elasticity and firmness. The other ingredients in there, or just to know for yourself, are that it has in there um, lipsomal vitamin C, which we know we need to also um, support the absorption of collagen. It has sea buckthorn fruit extract. It has NMN, enriched yeast. It has red orange fruit extract. It has hydrolonic acid. And then it has the MetaPower blend, excuse me, of grapefruit, lemon, peppermint, ginger, and cinnamon bark. To get all of those 12 ingredients as a separate, um, to buy them separately, the, 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 the maths has been done and it would be around 430 pounds for us to buy that separately, just the Advantage product. So it's of great value, not just um, economically with your, with your pounds or your euros, but also more importantly, with what it's going to give you in your body, what it's going to do to your body, how it's going to inform your cells and how it's going to optimize your metabolic health. I think if there's anything else I wanted to say about that. No, I think, yes, also just to know it's gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, glyphosate-free, sugar-free and corn-free. Good, so how would we take this system? Because that's a lot, right? I understand I've given you a lot of information there and it might be like, Oh, that's a lot to take, but it's actually very simple. I've been taking this for nearly, I'd say three and a half months now since January, we're May at this time of recording. And I found it to be hugely beneficial. I'll talk about some of these, the, the, the benefits that I've experienced in a moment. The way that I take it is I take a drop of the MetaPower in water. So I will drink that through the morning or through the day. If I have a craving come on, then we can use the MetaPower beadlets, which is exactly the same formulation, but just with a quarter drop of oil. And that will give you an experience. It will be like a sensation in the mouth. And also you'll have the cinnamon quality in there, which suppresses sugar cravings. Some people also like to take the soft gels. So you could take a soft gel and just that would be delivering the essential oil blend more um, directly into the body. Just be mindful if you're taking other essential oil soft gels, if you're taking things like DDR Prime, just be mindful of the amount of oils that you're ingesting on a daily level. We just want to be mindful of that. The assist is best designed to be taken 20 to 30 minutes before your main meal. Your biggest carbohydrate meal is when you want to take the assist. Now, sometimes I don't remember to take it more frequently um, than I like to confess. I don't remember to take it before my meal. And what I've been doing is just taking it anyway, like even mid meal or even after the meal, if I forget. And other people who've measured their blood sugar with glucose monitors and things, I haven't done that with this system, but other people I know who've done have shown that it is still reducing that insulin spike, that um, that sugar spike, um, even if it's been taken mid meal or post meal. But the optimum way to take it is 20 to 30 minutes before your meal. And what I've actually taken to doing in the last few weeks is to put it in the area of my kitchen where I prep my food. So when it's there, I remember to take it and uh, I see it rather than keeping it in the collection with my other supplements. And then the advantage is a sachet. It's in kind of um, granular form and you want to just drop that, empty the sachet into a glass of water. You want cold water or room temperature water, not hot water. You want to really whisk it up. So if you have a little hand whisk or a fork even, you can use that to really whisk it up to make sure that it's really fully um, uh, diluted and then you want to drink it in one go 
And the best way to take it is on an empty stomach. So I've been taking that mid morning. I happen to um, be doing intermittent fasting right now and finding that really helpful for my for my overall health. So I take it to, to broaden my fasting window, to make my fasting window a little bit bigger. Or you could take it in between lunch and your, your main evening meal if that's better for you. Good. Those are the three. Those are the three ways that are that I take it with the, the the oil, the beadlet, and the soft gel. Which is actually just remember that's just one. That's the same thing, really. That's the same product. That's the oil formula, the oil blend. Then I take the um, the assist uh, mid morning, and then I will take the excuse me the advantage mid morning, and I will take the assist just before my main meal. I am. Um, I noticed initially and after about a week or two weeks, I noticed there were improvements in my sleep. I noticed improvements in my energy level and improvements in my focus and around about, and that continued to improve over, you know, cumulatively over the weeks. And then around about two months in, I felt, okay, I think I might've plateaued. I think maybe MetaPower has done what it's gonna do for me. And this will be something that I'll continue to take to sustain that new normal, but it won't be something, I'm not gonna go to a different level. And then around about three months in, I discovered that I had gone to a different level and it was more an energetic response is the best way that I can describe it. I feel more capable. I feel more, um, more energized, but in a kind of, in a vibrancy way. It's almost as if there's, 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 there's vibrancy there in my being. And that really came from the three months of taking the system. Um, I've had comments about my skin. I've had, you know, really positive comments about my skin. One of my husband's friends who I've actually known since I was, I've known him since I was 17. So he's known me as a young, a young un. And he said to me recently, he was like, it looks like you've been cryogenically frozen. Like, what are you doing? Um, so that's just like some testimonial, personal testimonial from myself. Also, I've noticed, um, which was a surprise and a welcome surprise, is I had a long term injury in my knee sustained from when I was a sprinter at um, in my teenage years. And that injury has just been with me pretty much from my from 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 when I was 19. It kind of dissipated a little bit in my 20s and then came back full force in kind of my late 30s. And it restricted me with some of my yoga practice. And what I found now is that I can really do all sorts of different poses that I couldn't do before, uh, where I can, for example, bend my knee right back, where previously there had to be some, um, like a cushion in between that bend. So I've gained kind of more function and use in my own body and, and an injury that has been with me for 30 years has, has, you know, more or less vanished. That was a real surprise to me and very welcome. Many people will have different experiences and what you want to think about is what is it that you are looking for with your MetaPower um, journey? What are you seeking? Some people will be seeking, you know, improvements in their skin. They'll be seeking the beauty aspect. Some people will be seeking the energetics. They will want to feel more powerful, you know, in a good way, good power. Some people will want to be working with sleep. It might be that, that that's what needs support. Some people will also want to improve their hormonal fluctuations. That's another thing. Of course, we know hormonal fluctuations very connected to our sugar intake. And so what I've experienced also is I'm still in a, a very regular 28 day cycle. I've experienced less of the uh, tension pre-cycle and zero cramping um, on day one or day two, which I used to experience prior to the MetaPower. So, it might be that you're seeking all of those things, but just for yourself, again, reflect back and just think, what's my priority? What do I really want to focus in on? What's my intention when I start to take this system and let that be your a regulator, that be like your, like your anchor? What I do advise people to do, or I do invite you to do, I should say, is to take some notes as you're taking it. So as you start to take it, what happens on day one, day two, day three? What happens on week one? What happens by week two? So you've got some measurable, um, some measurable notes to refer to. Because what can often happen when we improve our health is we improve, and then we forget that we had a problem in the first place. And we kind of just, 
you know, we don't even necessarily associate it with the new things that we're doing with the other actions that we're taking. So I think it's really, really important to locate what you've done and where you've done it and when you saw the shifts and when you saw the changes. And for those of you that want to teach and share the system, that will also help you teach and share the system with others. One of the questions that I often get asked is, do I still need to take the lifelong vitality or good supplements. Now remember one of the obstacles to good metabolic health is poor supplementation and lifelong vitality, our supplements are really very, very high quality, excellent supplements. And we want to continue to take those in partnership. The meta power system is about how you metabolize what goes into your body. Lifelong vitality is about what goes into your body. So lifelong vitality, what I'm putting in, meta power, how I'm metabolizing what I'm putting in. So they work synergistically together. And of course, we know that lifelong vitality is filling up the, um, or picking up the slack, if you like, for places in our diet that aren't being fulfilled. There's a synergy with the two products working together. The lifelong vitality to remind us is, um, a try, a try kind of a, a three, three part system. So we have the microplex, all about the metabolic um, enzyme activity. Alpha CRS for me as the hero product of the three is about energy production within the cell. And X Omega is about the structure and the function of our cells. This has all of the fatty acids in there and the essential oils in there. So meta power is, um, is really the efficiency of meta power in our cells is optimized by using it in combination with lifelong vitality. To recap, lifelong vitality supports cell structure and function through micronutrients. Meta power optimizes the metabolism of these macronutrients, carbs, proteins, and fats for our own metabolic activity. And essential oils are supporting the pathway, the chemical communication to upregulate or downregulate those specific responses. So I hope you'll consider this for yourself and think what it can do for you now, today, and really what that choice today can do for you in, in the future, what it can do for you in a week, in a month, in a year, 10 years and beyond, because we're really looking at remembering what is it that we're seeking we're seeking to feel great now. And also we're seeking to feel great as we as we grow old gracefully. The meta in meta power, what does that stand for? Well, obviously it stands for metabolism. Um, and also just worth knowing that there's multiple interpretations of meta and meta power. Meta also stands for seeing something from a higher perspective. So you, you look, you're, you're drawing everything back and you're seeing it from the full like span of your life. And how do you want to live that? really full perspective. And then the power, obviously, of course, it stands for power, the PWR, but it also stands for personal wellness realized. So this is the system we are, we are, we are realizing our own wellness, the potential of that, and we are taking ownership of that. Much of our power really does live in this place of owning our own health and making clear um, committed health choices so that we can live our fullest, happiest, most healthiest life. So I do hope this has served you. I, I fully understand it's a lot of information. And um, if you have any questions, please do reach out to me or to the person who helps you with your doTERRA oils. Much love and I'll see you soon.